Hi, my name is Jay with Sage Meditation, and I'm here to show you how to assemble a backjack chair. The backjack chair comes in two models, either the original chair or the folding chair. Now the folding chair, uh, the only difference is that the foot that supports the upright posture uh, is foldable, which makes the chair flat for storage. Let's go over the parts first. Every chair comes with uh, some metal framing and the uh, fabric cushion part, okay? So what you'll have first is uh, a U-shaped tube. This, the longer one is uh, for the back support. If you have the non-folding chair, the, um, whoops, if you have the non-folding chair, <laughs> you'll have uh, another U-tube that's uh, shorter and it's fixed. It's just a metal tube that's shaped into a U. If you have the folding version, the uh, bottom of the U will have a spring wrapped around it. And you'll see that I can flex the uh, extensions on the side of that, okay? In addition to the, the uh, tubed pieces, you'll also find that there are two L-shaped brackets, and these are solid brackets. Uh, they are not tubes, okay? Also, uh, then of course you have the, uh, the covering, which includes the uh, padded seat for the chair. And if you have the folding version, you'll also have some type of elastic or web strap that is used to secure the chair once it's folded, okay? So first I'm going to set the uh, fabric and such aside here because we'll work with that after we get the frame put together. And I'm going to assemble a folding chair because um, it will help us to see uh, how to fold it once I have it assembled for you. Okay, the, the two chairs are identical in dimensions and size, and the non-folding version simply the foot is fixed and it doesn't fold. And I'll explain what I mean by foot in a moment here. So first we're going to take the uh, long, the longer U-tube shape here, and we're just going to insert the L-shaped piece right into the end of the tube, okay? And this will just be loose in here for the time being. And again, we'll insert the L-shape, the other L-shape into the other tube, okay? We lay that flat down on the table. Now we'll take the shorter U-tube piece and we'll turn the, um, the L-shaped tube up and we'll insert that into there slightly, but not all the way so that we have enough room to insert the other L-shaped tube. So when you're done, you should have the essentially the frame here. Now, uh, this will fall apart if I just set it down, but <laughs> okay. So now you see that you actually have the, the frame here. I'll get out of the way because I know my shirt is black here. So uh, you'll see that you have your basic shape for the chair. And this is what I mean by the foot. The extension that goes out the back here is called the foot. And this is what supports you so that when your back is leaning against the upright part portion, it keeps it from folding over, okay? Now I'm gonna to try to fold this for you just to show you, I'm gonna lay this down so that the foot is standing up. And I'll show you that how this folding mechanism works. So essentially I'm gonna put my hands on both ends of the folding mechanism, and I'm going to push with one hand and pull with the other. And this is gonna cause the spring to start to collapse, okay? And then you'll see that it just folds right over, okay? And if, uh, because I don't have the fabric on it, it just wants, the spring wants to take control here and just pop right back out again. So I'm gonna let that go back up and then I'll show again when I have the cover on the uh, frame, okay? Now the important thing about putting the, the fabric onto the frame is to understand that you have essentially three little flaps here. Uh, the longer flap is obviously the back of the seat. The padded cushion is the part that you sit on. And then this other flap that has no cushioning inside of it is essentially the, going to go over the foot. So this is important to understand because when we slide the fabric over the frame, we need the, um, the foot part of the, of the metal tube to go into this loose piece. It, doesn't, it will want to go inside of the seat if you allow it. So you'll need to control it so it doesn't go into the seat because that's not where you want it, okay? The top of the fabric has a fold over 
like a, you know, one of those sandwich bags that you used to get from mom when you had lunch for school. So we're going to fold this so it's open. And then essentially I'm going to just arrange this so that the padded cushion is, is hanging down here because remember we want this to go on like this so that it ends up lined up with the foot like that. So we want the seat to hang down because that's actually going to go to the front. All right, so what we do is we just take the opening that I just created by folding that flat back and I'm going to put it over this part of the cushion that's sticking up. Now, this is there's just no graceful way to do this. You're just going to have to uh, get this going on here. And you do want to be careful. If you pull the fabric too tight, you can tear out the seam, okay? Now you see I've gotten this started here, okay? And all I'm going to do is just keep kind of scrunching this down. Now eventually it gets down to the, the elbow joints there, and I'll help it to slide over that. Now if you want to, you can put the frame up against yourself and just slowly pull this on. Now it's going to, you're going to have to help guide it so that the foot goes inside of the of the foot piece there. Now you see I've almost got it completely in place and there's plenty of slack there so you're going to have no problem getting this to go. Okay, you can see I've almost got this fully assembled. Now I've got the top all the way up to the top of the frame here and I'm just going to gently fold the little top over and that'll just hold it in place and, and you're done, you see. You've got the chair assembled now. Now again, if you just have them, if you just have the regular version, you can put the seat up like that and store it like this. You can stack several on top of each other, or you can leave the seat down like this and stack them on top of each other. This folding one will allow you, as I started to show you, to uh, fold the uh, foot down flat. Okay. Now again, it, it's resistant, so you're going to have to kind of push it a little bit and just force it to go around. And it's the, the, the post is going to pivot where that L-shaped bracket is inside of there. The spring is going to give, and we're going to end up with, with the thing laying down flat. Then we take the elastic band, and we put that over this to secure it in place. Okay? Now, it's going to resist a little bit, and that's just normal. But when you want to store this in a place, it'll hold down flat, okay? And that is your folding chair. Now just to release it, you want to be careful when you release it so it doesn't pop out and hit you. Um, but just gently unfold it and it comes right back up. And that is still strong enough. You see I'm pushing quite hard on it and it will support your weight to lean back on it. And there you have it, the assembly of the backjack chair, both the folding and the non-folding version. Of course with the non-folding version, the foot won't fold in and always stays out like this. Thank you very much for watching. Again, I'm Jay with Sage Meditation, and I hope you'll visit our website and take a look at the backjack chair.